Hey, I'm Mark from The Analog Process, and I'm gonna show you how to load film today. The first thing is we have a piece of film, and before we load it, we need to know the orientation. Because if we load the film wrong, if we load it upside down, and then the light hits it from this way, this black side, um, it won't get exposed. So you need to make sure that this kind of reddish um, brown side is the side that gets hit by the light. What I like to do is keep a piece of four x five film with me that's exposed, so that way I can reference it at any point. So I just keep this in my bag that has my camera. So how do you know the orientation of the film? Well, it's quite easy. There's a notch. That notch should be at the top right or the bottom left. Remember, you're doing this in pitch black and you won't be able to see it. So if you take up a piece of film and you move it around to any orientation, all you have to do is feel around the edges. Oh, look, bottom right. We know that that is not correct. And as I can see, that's the black side because the notch needs to be at the top right or the bottom left. It can never be on any of the other sides. So now that we know the orientation of the film, it's time to look at the film holder itself. So with the film holder, there are going to be white dots or white markings on the dark slides. See it right there. So that indicates that the film inside um, has yet to be exposed. So if you're going to take a photo, you take out a slide from your bag, your holder, if you see a white dot, that means the film that's in this side of it is ready to be shot. If it's on the black side where there is uh, no dot, that means, hey, this has been exposed, do not shoot again. And trust me, keeping a system like that where the white means unexposed and the black means it's been exposed will save your ass so much. So what we do is before we even put this in the dark cloth, in the bag to change the film or go into a dark room, whatever you're gonna do, is to make sure that the white dots on the empty film holder are both facing out. That's really, really important. So now we're gonna actually go ahead and put the film into the film holder. And again, this is done in a completely pitch black room. This is not your room at night. This has to be a lightless room because any light will uh, cloud or affect the film. The best way to do it is in a black film changing bag, which you can buy online. Um, that's really the safest way to do it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and load. I like to load my film from the bottom uh, rather than from the top. That's just how I like to do it. I feel like it's easier to just slide it in like that rather than to slide it in like this. So I have my film holder in my film bag facing, facing down like, like this. Then what I do is I open the box of new film, take out a sheet, I feel it with my fingers, okay, top right or bottom left, open the film holder, not all the way because if you open the film holder all the way and take the dark slide totally out, when you try to put it back in, you're not gonna know whether it's the white side or the dark side that you're putting in. So never take it all the way out. Instead, just take it out far enough that you know that you can get the new piece of film in without the risk of it falling out. So now what we do is we take our film, we know that the notch is in the correct position, and we go ahead and lift up this little notch right here. Every film holder, regardless of what kind, will have some way to open the bottom. We put the piece of film in, and we press down with two fingers and slowly move it in. Now here's why this is important, because on both sides, there is a little railing that the film slides under. Right there, there's a little railing. If your film goes on top of the railing like this, it's in danger of falling out of the film holder. So you always wanna make sure that you see that the film is going under that second rail, and that way, uh, it won't fall out. And you can see the reason it fell out there is because this side didn't go under the railing. So the way to do that is feel for the railing, put it in, and you feel that the film is under the railing. And the easiest way to know if it's under the railing or not is because you'll actually feel that the film is curved like this because it's sitting on top of a rail. So when you put your finger, you'll see, hey, there's a, an arch. It's, it's going up on an incline, that means it's not in the railing. If you put it in correctly, it will be completely flat. So again, we put the film down, we slowly uh, move it in, careful not to touch the film plane. Uh, we can feel that it's under the railing. You push it in all the way and it'll fall into place where you can't push it in any further. You can also feel that it's all the way in. Now what we do is we push down the bottom, push the slide all the way in. And then what I like to do at this point is I take the little handle, the lock, and I lock it. And that little lock prevents the dark slide 
from coming out. And the reason that you do that while you're doing the changing bag, while you're putting in the changing bag, is because if you're changing a lot of sheets of film into a lot of film holders, it can get confusing. You might forget, oh no, did I load this side or not? Well, without having to open it and feel the film, and thus get fingerprints on the film plane, you can just know, hey, this is locked, so it means that the film has been put in there. After that, you just repeat the process for all your sheets of film, making sure that the notch is at the top right or the bottom left, and then you're pretty much done after that. So I hope that was helpful. You now know how to load 4x5 film, the best practices to do it, and the safest way without accidentally exposing your film, getting misplaced later, or loading it wrong. And remember, no matter how long you have been doing 4x5 photography or how long you have been doing work, always make sure that you go ahead and keep a sheet of 4x5 exposed film with you at all times. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. Be sure in the comments below to let me know what little tips and tricks you use to uh, change your film and to keep yourself organized with all of your film boxes. I will definitely be doing more video tutorials just like this that show you my process and my workflow. And I'll also be doing infield videos when I go out to do my actual photography work with my 4x5 with my GoPro so you can see how I actually do my real work and how I can get strangers to pose for photos. So you're not gonna wanna miss any of that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.